How am I doing? Oh, there we go. Okay, things I'd like to note before the curtain opens. Number one, did you notice how lovely they sat in the front? They didn't make a sound. Keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> promises that I will make, they will be adorable. They have practiced. Um, their songs have difficult moves, but they're actually sign language. And I appreciate our youth that have learned the moves and will be demonstrating because they're a little difficult. So without further ado, here we go. turn watching the sheep. Okay, okay, I had intended to get up early, but as usual, things weren't going quite like I'd planned. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, but I wasn't always the polished, respected shepherd I am today. Oops, sorry, I'm just running a little late. There sure are a lot of people traveling today. It's the census. We all have to be counted by a decree of Caesar Augustus. I'm Joanna, and this is my little sister Simone and my little brother Matthias. Want to stay and play with us? Sorry, I gotta go watch my sheep. Nice to meet you. Gotta go. What I didn't know was that day had set into motion events that would change the course of my life and of history.
shift was supposed to start well when the sun was there, and now it's there. Helping so hard on a bad meal, you know he gets distracted. Besides, I think it's nice having a break out, out here in the fields. I think it's peaceful. There's enough work to do helping mom at home. Take back and put our feet up and... <coughs> Those are my sisters and my older brother. Everyone in my family helps out in the pasture. They're on the early morning shift. Oof. Hey, Nathaniel, how was your trip through town? Better than the latest trip over the sheep. As a matter of fact, I tripped over some nice kids, Joanna, Simone, and Matthias. They're here for the census. But on to more things, the sheep. How's Max's foot? Has Beatrice been getting enough sleep? How about Jojo? Did he, did he exercise today? Seriously, Nathaniel, they're sheep. You talk to them like they're your friends. What, Abigail? They're just sheep. What kind of person would be friends with sheep? I was friends with the sheep. I had the greatest adventures with them. For me, it was all about those sheep. Have fun with your friends, Nate. We'll be back when the sun goes down. Talking or telling the story. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. I hear what you're saying that sheep are sort of dim, so the chance of having any opinion is slim. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Could a simple sheep have something to say? Could a simple sheep have something to say? But we're standing here today to help you figure it out. What does sheep even talk about? We be talking about sheep stuff. And we like him a lot. He's a little goofy, but give him a shot. Ba -da, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Always looking out for us, totally reliable, but we don't want to scare him because he seems so excitable. Before I knew it, my shift was over and I was running back through town, thinking about the great meal I would have. Whoa, running shepherd alert, you really don't stand still long, do you? Nathaniel, can we come on and adventure with you? They just want to avoid going to sleep. The, ki the kids eventually convinced me, and we were soon walking back to the fields under a deep, dark blanket at night. You're going to love my flock. Now, Beatrice, she's the feisty one. But then there's Max. He's so cool. All the others follow his lead. Oh, that's Jojo. She's so fluffy. And just like that, a great company of heavenly hosts surrounded us. I wish I could say we were terrified or excited, but I haven't always been the confident person I am today. We were terrified. Do not be afraid. We bring you tidings of joy. 
It's good good news to bring you tidings of joy. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He's Messiah. <laughs> you will find the baby boy, and this will be a sign. <laughs> wrapped in a staple, wrapped in a staple, saw of the Savior of mankind. Oh, wait. We could barely contain our shock and excitement in what the angels had told us. Had the Messiah really been born? And why would the angels choose to tell the shepherds? As I've said before, I was not always the popular public figure I am today. And yet we could not ignore what we saw and heard. Uh, Nathaniel, are your sheep okay? They haven't moved in a while. Hey, little buddy, is everything all right? Max, Beatrice, Cece, Jojo? <laughs> Don't worry, guys, you're safe and sound. <laughs> Did we really just see that? I wouldn't believe it if I haven't seen it for myself. They were definitely angels, but what was even more unbelievable was their announcement that the Messiah was to be born as a baby. But we always thought he would come with great power. Yes, everyone should know the Messiah has arrived. I know, I was feeling pretty hungry. Maybe I just imagined it. The pe but we have to tell the people. The angels entrusted the good news to us. Let's think this through. Do we really know what we just saw? What if he isn't supposed to lead a battle here on Earth? Could it be all about this little baby? We have to go see him. I'm in too. This is the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. Oh no, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'll go with you. Well, Lyman, we have to go tell the people about this baby. For once, I was going to follow some good advice. I would stay in the fields and take care of my alien sheep. I was too impulsive and needed to be responsible. The baby could wait. Why are they all staring at us? Your sheep are kind of giving me the willies. And suddenly the strangest sound came out of Max the sheep. <laughs> Amazingly, it seemed my favorite sheep had known what to do, what I didn't. They went to find the baby. And so we followed. Yeah, yeah. sheep, yeah.
The Savior of the world was born in a stable, and we were the first ones to see him. Nearly two years later, the wise men would arrive and after their long journey, but we never forgot the chance to be among the first ones to know about God's precious gift.
Please join us for our Christmas and cookies after the show. All right, that was amazing. I'm like, I'm just blown away by these kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Mama Jen, thank you so much. Would you come here a second? <laughs> yeah. Um, since I live next door, I, I peek out and I see like the Nolan family here every night working on stuff to set up. And it's amazing how much time and effort they and so many others put in. Every Sunday, they would work with our children for, for it seems like, years, but a couple of months uh, to get ready. And we're so thankful for them. We're so thankful for all the folk who help with the sound and, and, the, and getting everything together. And uh, we are just uh, just so blessed for all of you who help out with our children and, and youth. And uh, just uh, today was a celebration of that. So I have a little gift for you. And thank you to Jen Nolan and her family. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. As we close, I just have a couple of announcements. A couple of announcements.